Approximately 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, the dinosaurs disappeared from Earth due to a global catastrophe. But what happened immediately after this mass extinction? I decided to travel back in time to see for myself, and it turns out that things were quite different from what we usually imagine. Hello, and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today, we're going to explore a planet that humans haven't yet set foot on. A planet nearly destroyed by a meteor strike. You'll discover which ancient inhabitants of Earth perished immediately and who managed to survive. You'll learn about the climate changes they faced and how the Earth recovered from this monumental disaster. At the end of the Mesozoic era, a massive asteroid or comet struck the Earth. Scientists still debate its exact nature, but its diameter ranged from 11 to over 80 kilometers, 7 to 50 miles, possibly the size of Washington, D.C. When one edge of the asteroid hit the ground, the other end was still higher than a Boeing 747's flight altitude. This impact left a giant crater covering half the Gulf of Mexico, with a diameter of 150 kilometers, 93 miles, and a depth of about 20 kilometers, 12 miles. While not the first such collision, it was one of the largest. The world changed instantly. The impact caused mega tsunamis over 100 meters, 330 feet, high, reaching modern-day Texas and Florida. Some sources claim heights of 300 meters, 985 feet, the height of the Eiffel Tower, or even 1.5 kilometers, 0.9 miles, equivalent to five Eiffel Towers. The displaced ocean water caused waves to crash onto coastlines for 10 hours. Had the impact been deeper, the tsunamis would have been even taller. The explosion was about a hundred million times more powerful than the Tsar Bomba, the most powerful thermonuclear weapon ever detonated. Forests within thousands of kilometers were destroyed instantly. The explosion, believed to be equivalent to 100 trillion tons of TNT, caused massive earthquakes and landslides, triggering further tsunamis. This was just the beginning. The asteroid's energy ignited the landscape within a 1,500 kilometer, 930 mile radius. Even huge dinosaurs like Diplodocus were killed. Those not directly hit by the explosion or fire were swept away by retreating waves. Tiny rock particles were hurled into the atmosphere, found globally by geologists. About 40 minutes after the impact, these particles began to fall like hot glass, each turning into an incandescent lamp. This rapidly heated the atmosphere, creating a hellish environment. Most dinosaurs and many other land organisms perished within hours from the intense heat. The planet, previously covered in forests, was almost entirely set ablaze. About 75% of living things, including any mammal over 25 kilograms, 55 pounds, died. Acid rain oxidized the oceans, and half of the plant species died either immediately or shortly after. Soot from fires and impact dust blocked sunlight for about a year, drastically affecting the climate and killing more plants. The few surviving herbivores and carnivores faced harsh conditions. Water ecosystems were also devastated, though not completely. For example, turtles and crocodile ancestors survived. Some researchers liken the environment to a barren, lunar landscape. Despite this, life persisted. Foraminifera, single-celled organisms, were among the first to recover, appearing in the crater a few years post-impact. Ferns followed, spreading rapidly within a millennium. However, large mammals faced food scarcity, limiting their size to no more than 600 grams, 1.3 pounds. A hundred thousand years later, mammals reached the size of raccoons as palm forests replaced ferns, providing more food. Gradually, the world normalized. 200,000 years later, nut-like plants, akin to pecan trees, emerged, further increasing food availability. Mammal species diversity tripled, with the largest weighing 25 kilograms, 55 pounds, the size of a large beaver or gazelle. Mammals evolved alongside plants, and within 700,000 years, the emergence of bean plants provided a crucial protein source, supporting larger mammals up to 50 kilograms, 
110 pounds, the weight of a modern cheetah. These ancient mammals were a hundred times heavier than their fern-dwelling ancestors, all within less than a million years. A blink of an eye in evolutionary terms. The oceans took about three million years to recover, with organic material flow returning to normal and new species filling ecological niches. Birds, considered surviving dinosaurs, adapted by diving, swimming, or seeking shelter in water, helping them endure the catastrophic events. Over time, life on Earth normalized, leading to the evolution of humans. This wouldn't have occurred without the asteroid impact, which acted as a catalyst for human evolution. What if such a disaster struck again? Most of humanity wouldn't survive another space attack, but our planet would eventually recover. Life goes on. The extinction event that marked the end of the Cretaceous period and the demise of the dinosaurs around 66 million years ago was sudden and cataclysmic. Triggered by a massive asteroid impact, this event set off a chain of devastating occurrences that transformed Earth's environment almost instantaneously. Understanding what happened in the first minutes after the dinosaurs disappeared involves examining the immediate aftermath of the impact and the global changes it precipitated. The impact event. The asteroid, estimated to be about 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter, struck the Yucatan Peninsula in present-day Mexico, creating the Chicxulub Crater. The force of the impact released energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, vaporizing the asteroid and a significant portion of the Earth's crust at the impact site. The initial moments were characterized by an explosion that sent a vast plume of superheated debris, molten rock, and dust into the atmosphere. Immediate effects of the impact. Shock waves and earthquakes. The collision generated shock waves that rippled through the Earth's crust, causing massive earthquakes. These seismic waves propagated at high speeds, reaching areas thousands of kilometers away within minutes. The ground would have trembled violently, causing landslides, collapsing structures, and triggering volcanic activity in some regions. Tsunamis. The impact occurred in a shallow sea, displacing enormous volumes of water and generating colossal tsunamis. These waves, reaching heights of hundreds of meters, radiated outward from the impact site inundating coastal areas and traveling across entire ocean basins. Coastal ecosystems were obliterated, and marine life suffered catastrophic losses, heat and firestorms. The energy released by the impact also caused a tremendous amount of heat. Within minutes, the surrounding air temperature soared, igniting wildfires across vast regions. The intense heat and friction from re-entering ejecta caused by the impact likely ignited flammable material over vast distances. As a result, forests and plant life across continents caught fire, contributing to a global conflagration. Atmospheric Disturbances Ejecta and Debris The asteroid's impact hurled trillions of tons of debris into the atmosphere. This material included vaporized rock and sulfur-rich dust. As it rained back down, it further heated the atmosphere, adding to the widespread fires. The skies darkened as the fine particulate matter spread globally, blocking sunlight and plunging the planet into a prolonged period of darkness. Acid rain. Sulfuric compounds released into the atmosphere from the impact mixed with water vapor, leading to the formation of sulfuric acid rain. This acidic precipitation would have fallen back to Earth, acidifying oceans and freshwater sources and contributing to the widespread extinction of marine and terrestrial life. Biological Consequences Immediate Death Toll The immediate aftermath saw the annihilation of life forms within the vicinity of the impact. Dinosaurs, along with numerous other species, were instantaneously vaporized or severely injured by the blast, shock waves, and ensuing fires. The catastrophic environmental changes spelled doom for many species unable to cope with the rapid shifts in their habitats. Longer-term extinction. The first minutes after the impact set off a cascade of events leading to the longer-term extinction of numerous species. The blocked sunlight, resulting from atmospheric dust, led to a dramatic drop in temperatures, a phenomenon known as an impact winter. Photosynthesis halted disrupting food chains and leading to the starvation of many herbivores, 
followed by the carnivores that depended on them. The acid rain further decimated plant life and marine organisms, compounding the crisis. The minutes following the asteroid impact that ended the age of dinosaurs were marked by extreme violence and rapid environmental changes. From the immediate shockwaves, tsunamis, and firestorms to the atmospheric disturbances that ensued, the impact precipitated one of the most significant mass extinction events in Earth's history. The sudden disappearance of the dinosaurs was just the beginning of a series of ecological shifts that reshaped life on our planet, paving the way for the rise of mammals and, eventually, humans. Scientists know a great deal about these ancient events through fossils and various earth and stone samples. For example, the bones of ancient mammals and lizards help pinpoint the end of the dinosaur era. Understanding this took considerable time. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for timely notifications of new, interesting videos.